morning you guys happy friday we made it last night i got such a good night's sleep and i'll show you guys i was so proud of myself to be honest because i do not sleep well like at all recently i got a sleep score of 80 seven hours and three minutes of sleep and then my readiness score is an 80 not optimal but it's good because obviously like i haven't been sleeping that well but yeah here's my little sleepy cycle i've obviously adore my ring yeah i got an hour and 31 minutes of deep sleep and that seems to be like the best amount of deep sleep for me so that's really good and then it didn't take me that long before fall asleep which on like previous days it takes me a really long time to fall asleep but i've been doing or as of last night i'm doing pretty good but i went to the gym this morning i really was craving doing some spins so you guys are probably like oh can some biker shorts yeah i got my own little spinny i like recorded like a mini tiktok so i'll have that up here for you guys but i couldn't do much more slash perfect it because obviously like there's other people that want to work out so i didn't get to do it to the best of my absolute ability i honestly thought i was gonna forget how to do spin but it comes back to you so it's fine so that was really fun i like forget like how many endorphins are released when like you're spinning or like doing high intensity. I'm not gonna go back to doing spin full time like I used to because I've noticed that my cortisol gets really high with high intensity workouts. I've been really, really enjoying Pilates and FAR, just really low intensity workouts because it obviously lowers your cortisol because um, I've been struggling, you guys, with this little belly pooch right here just right here it's only right there it drives me absolutely insane so i've just been trying to work on that but then the other part of me is just like girl that's organs so <laughs> yeah i feel like a lot of girls struggle with that area but i feel like pilates has really been helping me and with me doing spin full time i wasn't losing any weight and i did want to lose a few pounds just because obviously during the winter time you are more prone to gain weight obviously i did i've lost like almost 10 pounds now which is really good for me my body seems to really really like it so i'm just gonna keep on going with it um i do that which i say a million times so really have been enjoying that there used to not be there used to not be like a trial run era area for what am i saying there used to not be like a trial run opportunity for that app but she has just released a version where you're able to trial run it for like seven days i'm not promoted or sponsored in any way shape or form i just really really liked it just because like yeah i know how to like do my own workouts it's just like i prefer to have someone like telling me what to do and obviously like the hindrance of like how much a monthly like class costs like guys i was paying like close to 300 dollars a month for my spin membership for unlimited or it wasn't even unlimited it was like for like 20 classes a month so that's like not good <laughs> and you guys know i was like on this like super money saving journey and i still am or not even money saving journey it's just like getting my student loans paid off and obviously that was not helping so there's that so put that back and what i pay for mad fit is a hundred dollars a year it's like what 25 cents a day i don't know i'm not gonna math but I saw that. Oh my god. And I know you guys know that I've been going back and forth with getting off birth control. I'm just like really anxiety filled about it, to be honest. Um, because that's obviously another part of like why I can't get rid of my lower belly pooch. <laughs> I don't know, I just get so nervous because I don't want to get pregnant right now. So but I know you guys see me make my breakfast every day, but I wanted to talk to you guys. Um, I have a lot of editing to do. Um, I'll probably do it on my lunch break. Today at work should be pretty chill as it's a Friday. So yeah, this week has been awesome. Learning a lot of new things. Just making my usual breakfast. Just I used to do, I was doing three eggs, but now I just don't finish them. It's such a waste. So I'm just doing two eggs and then my normal four little sausages. And you guys obviously know my coffee by now. It's just a Starbucks blonde roast with my Trader Joe's creamer. Mm. Oh my God, so good. I like crave it every day, but I'm gonna finish making my little breakfast and I will talk to you guys once I am doing my little devotional and my five minute journal.
you guys really quickly i'm gonna start packing for kyle's because i need to do that before anything else to be honest because then i will not do it and i need the shower bell to do that on my lunch break all right first up we got the base bag my fave all right then we got i don't even know if i want to bring my makeup bag to be honest glasses and a clip deodorant and my sunglasses key bring a pair of sneakers I need to try these outfits on, but I'll do that after I shower. I already have pajamas at Kyle's house, so just packing outfits and a little workout outfit. And then I'll just bring a sweatshirt. And then obviously I have to bring undies, but I will try these outfits on to see if I like them. And, but I'll do that after I shower, but this is all set and ready to go. Um, Okay, that was a lot quicker than I thought it was gonna be. I stressed for no reason, but let's finally get the workday started. All right, you guys, I just showered, if you couldn't tell. I need to figure out what I'm having for lunch. In your room and I like hate coming up with things for lunch. Like hate, hate. So, I think I'm just gonna make taquitos. I had these last night, so I'm just gonna have them again, and then I'll make like a little, little guac. Make sure these are good. Yeah, they are. And then I was gonna have a smoothie, but these bananas do not look promising. Cherries are in season. Mmm. These are the ones that I get from Trader Shows. They're so good. So I'm gonna heat up my oven. Does anyone else's oven literally take forever? In the meantime, I literally cannot go without like snacking on something. I'll figure out my hair later, I promise. I just keep my work phone on me just in case I need it. I'm just having celery and peanut butter. I did like a 20 minute walk. It was phenomenal. You go now, will you come me back? I just got back home from getting my nails fixed again because they keep chipping, which is great for me. It's not anyone else's fault but my my nails. And then I also got my little toesies done. So I assumed that my house didn't have any food for, for to like make something just because like our grocery shopping is so like off schedule for like when I come home from Kyle's, which is my fault. Like that's again no one else's. So I picked up some Chipotle. Got the chips, my favorite. They're always stale though. So, always stale. And then a burrito. I always get, you can usually tell which side all the guac is on. I just get white rice, light chicken, pico lettuce guac. Very, very simple, but first bite. Oh good. So I'm having like a late dinner. Or what? Early dinner. Because it's currently 2... Or what? Cam? 4.12. I got home from Kyle's around like 1ish. So I've just been at home and then my nail appointment was at 2.30. But it took a little bit longer just because they were super busy. And I made the appointment like they have. So I can't really expect anything. But I'm going to watch some YouTube and eat my... Liner or early dinner. <laughs> Coming back in 
Yeah, I know that 